Alright guys, chapter 6 is finally underway, and with a new chapter of Fortnite comes a whole new loophole, a whole bunch of new weapons, and in today's video, I'm going to rank every single new weapon in Fortnite chapter 6 from worst to best. I have been watching Fortnite all morning, I've been playing a little bit in the morning as well, so I feel like I do have a good grasp on some of these weapons, but of course, I have to preface at the beginning, this is an extremely early ranking, the season has only been out for a couple hours at this point, so I guarantee you in a week's time, this list is going to look different buffs, nerfs will happen. They always do. So don't look too deep into this list, but for now, these are the weapons ranked from worst to best. You should definitely use the top three or four weapons. Absolutely. If you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like. Use code TIEFRIES in the Fortnite item shop when you buy that battle pass and the new OG battle pass coming out in a couple days. And subscribe for more chapter six ranking content just like this. With all that being said, let's get right into this. At the number 10 spot, in my opinion, the worst weapon in chapter six so far, it is going to be the Oni shotgun. And I really shouldn't say the worst weapon in the chapter because it's just the worst new weapon. It is absolutely not the worst weapon we've seen in this chapter so far, but the Oni shotgun definitely lacks a little bit. It is that double barrel looking shotgun, right? When you shoot your two shots, you'll break the barrel, put your new two shells in, and then put that barrel back together and get shooting again. The only problem is two shots is just brutal. It is a high risk, high reward shotgun. The pellet spread is so tight that yes, if you do hit both of those shots, you're probably going to kill somebody with both of them and you're good, right? But if you miss one of those shots, you are going to be in big trouble. Think about it as like the regular double barrel shotgun all the way from chapter one, but just with much better accuracy and range. I don't think it's actually terrible. I just think it gets outclassed by the other two shotguns in this chapter. At my number nine spot on this list is going to be the Fire Oni Mask. And I'm honestly like kind of hesitant about where I put this because the Fire Oni Mask actually lets you shoot fire that is essentially a honing missile. Like it follows the opponent. It's actually insane. I just think the projectile travels pretty slow. It's this bright like orange ball of fire. You can see it coming at you. And in build mode, I don't see the Fire Oni Mask really being that useful. Again, I have to preface here. The season has only been out for a couple hours. Hours, I played build mode and I found that not many people are taking the fire Oni mask. Everybody is taking the void Oni mask, which I'll talk about when I get there. I can see some really, really cool clips coming out of this weapon though. At the number eight spot is the surge fire SMG. You know, it's actually nothing that the Surge Fire SMG does wrong. It's more so that the other SMG in the game right now is absolutely busted into oblivion and just totally outclasses this weapon. In the current state of the game right now, there is no reason to ever take the Surge Fire SMG over the Veiled Precision SMG. The Surge Fire SMG does have a big mag. I believe it's like 40 or 45 bullets, which is pretty insane for an SMG. It's really good for spraying, but other than that, I don't see the Surge Fire SMG overtaking the Veiled Precision SMG at least for now. At the number seven spot is the Fury Assault Rifle, and honestly, very similar to the Surge Fire SMG, the Assault Rifle this season, specifically the Hollow Twister Assault Rifle, is just so much better in my opinion. It's nothing that the Fury does wrong, it's just that the Hollow Twister does everything better, and so the Fury just kind of drops down on this list, right? It doesn't really have a purpose. What I'm seeing so far between the Fury and Hollow Twister is almost think about back to Chapter 4 when you had the Red Eye Assault Rifle and the Scar. You have your kind of fast faster firing assault rifle with no scope, a little bit less accurate, but you get a faster fire rate. And then the hollow twister is like the red eye assault rifle. Very accurate, a little bit of a slower fire rate, but if you're accurate, you're going to absolutely melt with this thing. I think the Fury Assault Rifle does have potential once it gets more use, but for now, I don't see it overtaking the Hollow Twister, and for that reason, it stays kind of towards the bottom half of this list. Moving on to my number six spot, that's going to be the Twin Fire Auto Shotgun. And the Twin Fire Auto Shotgun is extremely similar to the Frenzy Auto from Chapter 5. Again, think of the Frenzy Auto as the Twin Fire Auto Shotgun, and the Hammer Pump Shotgun as the Sentinel Pump Shotgun this season. From what I've played and what I've seen, this shotgun doesn't really excel until you get into those higher rarities. Once you start getting into Purple, Legendary, and Mythic, this shotgun is an absolute bulldozer. But if you're not in those rarities, to me, this shotgun looks a little bit weak. I mean, you get a ton of bullets in the mag. I think it's 12, I believe. It's just that fire rate is painfully slow, and I think this is like your mid-tier shotgun. I don't think it's the best shotgun in this season, but it's definitely not the worst. I can see in a couple weeks this gun getting more use and it's starting to kind of climb the rankings because that's exactly what happened with the Frenzy Auto Shotgun back in Chapter 5. At the number 5 spot is the weapon I was most excited for this season. It's the Typhoon Blade. So the Typhoon Blade is what was teased. Everybody thought the Kinetic Blade was coming back. Well, look at that. The Kinetic Blade, to my knowledge so far, is not back and instead it is the Typhoon Blade. 
And unfortunately, I don't think the Typhoon Blade is better than the Kinetic Blade. In fact, I don't think the Typhoon Blade is the best mobility item we have this season. I will say the melee combo on the Typhoon Blade is really, really strong. If you get in someone's box with the Typhoon Blade, just press that melee a couple times, you're going to destroy them. That thing is so strong at meleeing. But in terms of mobility, like, all it does is you just get a faster sprint when you hold it out. You get a couple of, like, movement combos you can do, but you just don't get that great Kinetic Blade dash. It does, like, like, like a half kinetic blade dash when you use it you go nowhere again this is an item that i can see people mastering in the coming weeks and people really starting to become fans of it and use it more and more but for now it is definitely not the best mobility item this season whatsoever it's a decent item i'm a little bit disappointed in it but it's decent and that is why it gets literally at the halfway point in this list all right now we are into the top four and honestly i think these four weapons should all be in your loadout this season they are all incredibly strong and honestly at this point could probably be the number one spot for each of them. At that number four spot is going to be the Hollow Twister Assault Rifle. Guys, this weapon is a beam, especially because hitscan weapons are back. No more of that bullet travel time BS. If your scope is on them, it is hitting them instantly, and that is why the Hollow Twister Assault Rifle is so good. I think what else makes this rifle so good is the fact that it has a scope, right? And obviously, attachments are gone. We do not have attachments anymore, so this is the only assault rifle in the game right now that has a scope on it. I know earlier it reminded me of Chapter 4. It also reminds me of Chapter 3, right, with the MK7 and the Ranger assault rifle. This hollow scope is beautiful, and pair that with a hitscan assault rifle. Yeah, this thing is an absolute beam. I'm seeing all over Twitter right now. This is the main gun that people are using this season, and I think, honestly, you could definitely put it at number 1 and make the case for that. At the number 3 spot on this list is the Sentinel Pump shotgun. And yeah, obviously this is your main pump shotgun this season. I think a lot of people are going to gravitate to this weapon as they always do every time there's a new pump shotgun added, but I think that's for a good reason. I think this is definitely the best shotgun this season. You actually only have four shells though before you have to reload. And the one thing I will say about this shotgun, while it is extremely powerful, and yes, I do believe it is the best shotgun, I constantly find myself reloading this thing. Only four shells instead of five is, is kind of crucial. There's actually a mythic version on the map right now that I believe can do 200 headshot. I think the legendary does around one 190 to 195 so yeah obviously you're getting a big shot for some reason it kind of reminds me of like the infiltrator pump shotgun from chapter four i think you will find throughout your play that yes this is definitely the best shotgun this season but obviously it's very early and things can totally change anyways moving on to my number two spot the best mobility item this season by far and i think this has the potential to be one of the best mobility items of all time it is the void oni mask there is no question about it right now you should not be taking the fire oni mask it should be void oni mask only this thing is absolutely busted. It's honestly kind of weird that Fortnite hasn't added a teleportation item like this yet. If you guys play Minecraft in Ender Pearl, this is literally just an Ender Pearl. If you played like Apex Legends, think Wraith, right? Her kind of teleportation portals. It's very similar. You throw the portal and then you press the other button to instantly teleport to that portal. You cannot be shot while you're teleporting. And that's what makes it so good because a lot of the times with mobility items, think like shockwave grenades, you get shot in the air while you're traveling, right? For this, you cannot be shot in the air while you're you're traveling all they can do is try and predict where you are teleporting to there's like a little tiny purple portal every single person i've watched has been using this item every person that i have played against and i've died to has killed me using this item i think the void oni mask could potentially be at the number one spot this thing in its current state right now is absolutely busted even with only 15 uses the mythic version also has 50 uses so if you get the mythic version it's basically game over right now but at my number one spot i don't think there's going to be a lot of arguments in the comment section below or maybe they will obviously it's early in the season i think it's the Veiled Precision SMG. Imagine if the Hyper SMG was good. That's literally what this weapon is. It has that beautiful red dot sight. Of course, the weapons are hit scan. It has no recoil. This might be one of the lowest recoil fully auto weapons in Fortnite history. Obviously, the way they counteract that is you only get 21 bullets in a mag, so not a lot. Obviously, you better hit your shots, but you shouldn't have a problem doing that because it is so accurate. It also has like that built-in suppressor on it too, so yeah, it's got that going for it. I've seen multiple live streams where people aren't even running ARs. They're running the Veiled Precision SMG as their AR, and then they're running the shotgun, the sense pump that is and then the void oni max seals and you're good that's all you need this season right now unfortunately i do foresee a nerf coming for this weapon it has to happen right now
right now people are using it at assault rifle ranges it has like literally no recoil i can't describe to you guys how insanely accurate this weapon is people are using it at assault rifle ranges obviously smgs are not meant to be used at those ranges and i will say like i do think at like very close quarters range the surge fire smg may be better but any of those like middle range engagements the veiled precision is going to absolutely rip right now i think it's busted and if you have good aim you are going to love using this weapon it in my opinion is the best chapter 6 new weapon that was added all right guys well that is my list for every single brand new chapter 6 weapon ranked from worst to best obviously this video might be a little shorter than usual i want to get it out to you guys so you guys can see my opinion and so you guys know what are the go-to weapons this season let me know in the comment section down below what weapons you guys are using what weapons you guys are liking and overall how you're enjoying chapter 6 personally i think it is absolutely fantastic the bosses are way too strong but that's for another video if you guys went on to enjoy this video be sure to leave it a like subscribe for more chapter 6 content and i will catch you guys in the next one peace